Hello everyone. In this video, myself and my postgraduate Shashwat Pandya are going to demonstrate the five best exercises based on the neurodynamic treatment concept that can be utilized to treat pronator teres syndrome patients. The exercises can be prescribed to be performed at home for maximum benefit. Pronator teres syndrome patients often complain of pain and discomfort in the forearm region, especially during the squeezing and turning activities. To perform the exercises, the patient is required to be either seated or standing beside the wall in such a manner so that there is a one arm distance between the wall and the patient. The patient is going to take the affected side upper limb and is going to rest the palmar surface of the hand over the wall in this manner. So here we have kept the shoulder and the upper limb in such a manner so that the forearm remains pronated and the shoulder internally rotated so as to have less tension over the median nerve. If the patient still feels any tension in the median nerve then we can increase the amount of forearm pronation. So this is going to be the starting position before performing the first exercise. So the first exercise is going to be a two-ended slider for the median nerve at the level of the forearm region. And for this, what we are going to do is, we are going to add up tension in the median nerve distally and at the same time, we are going to create a slack at the proximal end. So the exercise is going to look where the patient is going to actually try and supinate the forearm and at the same time, ipsilaterally side bending the head and neck. This is going to be the distal slider for the median nerve and if we reverse this then this is going to be the proximal slider for the median nerve. So we have added tension at the proximal end and we have relieved the tension at the distal end. So during the performance of this exercise there should be no pain and discomfort that should be experienced by the patient. So the exercise is going to look something like this supination with ipsilateral side bending, pronation with contralateral side bending. And this needs to be repeated for around 10 to 15 repetitions in one set and three such sets should be performed in a single session. The second exercise is going to facilitate the distal sliding of the median nerve. For this, the starting position will be the same as the for the previous exercise, but the patient head and neck is going to remain ipsilaterally side bent. And from here, we are going to ask the patient to perform the supination only up to the range where the patient experiences no tension in the median nerve. And then the patient is going to just return back to the starting position. This head and neck position of ipsilateral side bending will remain constant throughout the exercise. So the exercise is going to look like this. With the patient in this position, patient performs supination and pronation movements. So the supination is only performed up to the range where there is no tension experienced in the median nerve. The third exercise intends to improve the proximal sliding of the median nerve. For this, we, the starting position is going to be shoulder internal rotated and forearm in the mid prone position. So we have created a slack here distally and now we are going to add up tension or the proximal level so that the nerve starts sliding in the proximal direction. So the exercise is going to be just side bending the head and neck contralaterally only up to the range where no tension is felt in the median nerve. So the exercise is going to be 10 to 15 such repetitions of contralateral side bending and returning back to the starting position while the upper limb is held fixed with the wall. For the fourth home exercise, the patient is again going to be in the same starting position and this is going to improve the tensioning ability of the median nerve and the exercise is called one-handed tensioner. For this, the patient is going to keep the head and neck in the neutral position and then is going to start producing the forearm supination movement up to the range where tension is felt in the median nerve. The position is going to be held for around two seconds before returning back to the starting position. So the exercise is going to look like this every time supination up to the range where we experience tension and then again going back to the starting position. 10 to 15 such repetitions can be performed and two to three such sets can be performed by the patient in a single session. The fifth and the last home exercise to improve the viscoelasticity or the tensioning property of the median nerve is known as the two-ended tensioner. For this, the starting position is again going to remain the same and this time we are going to add up tension 
over the median nerve at both the distal as well as the proximal end. So this time while the patient starts supinating the forearm, the patient is also going to contralaterally side bend the head and neck, enhancing the elongation of the median nerve, holding the position for two seconds and returning back to the starting position. This again can be performed for around 10 to 15 repetitions in a single session. So I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for you all. Do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.